Hi guys, I thought it would be fun to show a craft that you can do at home with things you probably have laying around your house. This is a tin can lantern craft, so all you need is a tin can and a couple other supplies, and you can create your own design and then put a light inside. I have a battery operated light in here. You can use candles, but I would recommend these just because they are safer and they won't heat up the can. Now, you can also paint your can before you do the design, and that way your design will show up a little bit clearer. So I have a leaf design on this one. This is a finished product just to show. So pioneers would have used a tin lantern with a punch design so that their candle wouldn't blow out when they went outside. Obviously they would have winds and the holes would allow light to come out, but not for the wind to blow it out. Now an actual tin lantern would have a little door on the side that you could replace your candle or light your candle. Ours obviously is just going to be the tin can, so you'll have to place it through the top. You can also at the end of this, if you'd like, punch two holes on the side and create, put a piece of wire or ribbon to give yourself a handle. So the things you will need is a nail, a hammer, your tin can with frozen water inside, so with ice, and you will want to fill this up either with some sand on the base so it does not expand or in increments. So you want to fill up just a little bit of water, let it freeze, fill up a little more, let it freeze, and then fill up a little more. Now, I don't have mine filled completely to the top, just a little bit closer to the top. You want to have the ice in there because this tin can will be very malleable. So the ice will prevent it from bending when you're hammering. You will also want a piece of cloth to hold it because it will be very cold. Now, you also want your design. I'm just going to do a very simple design today. And you can draw your own, just make sure you know where you're going to have the holes. So you want to tape it around. You're gonna wanna take your cloth so you can hold it so you don't freeze your hands. And you're gonna to have to hold it very steady when you're doing it. So you're gonna make sure you hold it while you hammer, otherwise it'll roll and you'll go a little bit crooked. So put your nail where you want your first hole and just lightly tap it in with your hammer. And then just keep going around until you have your completed design. Once you've completed hammering in your nails, you will need to just unwrap it. And you'll be able to see if there's anywhere you need to do your hole just looking if it didn't go all the way through. It looks like everything went through on this one. And once you're finished with this, you're gonna want to go and wash out the ice with warm water. Once you've washed the ice out of your tin can, you have your finished product. Be careful when placing a candle inside as the edges will be very sharp where you did hammer that metal in. You can place, like I said, a little battery operated light in there or a real candle. And there you go, your own Pioneer Tin Can Lantern.